you can ascertain a person if he's a thug by just the people where he lives how na camera umeenda tu people are likely to tell you oh jamaa eh tuko tunamogopa yeah guys no one no single hata mtoto kuna mwenye alisema huyo jamaa alikuwa mbaya jamaa alikuwa rafiki wa kila mtu man but i think mm. police shot him mistakenly mm. oh nasikia nini identity mnaitangaje mistaken identity, identity. Mm. but now cover up they had to come up with something to say mm. to justify to justify mm. Mutu. You know like the way you've talked about your mother that's a feminist yeah. you know like the fact that she bought land she invested she she didn't tie herself to her gender she was not like this is my gender i can't do this ali kwa she was looking for the betterment of herself and that's what we are we are seeking yeah, like like yeah. you want by if anything happens to you you want to know that your kids are taken care of the the problem is not the education mm. when you find a woman who is having a problem with you mm. or if you, let's say if you find a woman not necessarily your girlfriend or boyfriend but who has a, a, an issue mm. it's not education that is a problem yeah it is her character mm. see those are two different yeah, things yeah 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 mm. the, you've ever had statement that if you want to know the true color of a man mm. give them money and power. power yeah it's not the money and the power that is the problem that's mm. what they are telling you Yeah that's it is the man that is it the reveals problem. you it yeah. reveals you mm. so it's the same the education also reveals people's character mtu alikuwa mlekatu na yeye bado hana kama hana degree ni mzuri atoka mpeleka shule umeona hiyo wewe umeona hiyo case yeah akageuka umeona shule una hustle na pikipiki yako na mpeleka na kuita sweetie nini anaenda kuambia eh sweetie mwa what about your degree eh my friend anaanza kuambia eh Mm. Are we the same level? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nishaskia gayo ile mtu na uliza kwa. But I've seen but I've seen women mm. who are married to men who are not degree holders and yet yeah. they are degree holders. Mm. Cuz the man but, is sharp. And you see them it's so that the man was was rich. Mm. She realized that the man is sharp. Mm. So the little money when I know of a lady who got money and then mm. started investing in her husband. The mm. husband invested in her. Mm. Now the lady started investing in her husband, not going to school, mm. but in business. Yeah. The man became rich. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they are rich together mm. now. Mm. You see so it's about the character. It's not about the education. Education doesn't make someone bad. Yeah. That person was just bad. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's just that now he sees oh mimi nimesoma sana. Mm. Sasa hiyo kiburi na ina ina yanaongezeka. Mm. Alikuwa anga tu na kiburi. Mm. And let me tell you kila binadamu anakuwa na kiburi yake. The yeah. level. Yeah. Ndio different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> level yeah. ndio different. Sasa mm. kuna wengine level yao iko juu. Mm. It's only that maybe amesota ndio mm. bana ni muhambo yeah mpatie Alaf- tu pesa ama masomo mm. afa advice yangu ina kuanga pia kama unaogopa this empowered women na tuchukue kwa kienyeji kazuri hao ndio watakusubu sasa wao ndio wamenyolewa yani ana pressure hauna competition mm. ananuka jasho kidogo yeah, mjinga kirevuka yeah. you girl umemkoa <laughs> wapi siocha ocha ukamleta mm. wapi nairobi ukamwosha si ndio ndio tashanga huyo ndio utalia so kama ana character mbaya tu sasa umemwosha ume reveal a character manza hako anakatiwa na watu eh watu wenye wanakushinda sasa yeye anakatiwa na watu wanakushinda akipita tu town watu wanamwambia hello na benz wewe uko na nini kanisa ni kako tida anaanza kiburi yenye alikuwa nayo anza kukuangalia hii tiida sasa huyu mtu wa tiida na niko na mtu wa Benz hapa mm, mm. umerelegetiwa so it's the character yeah yeah because we have seen even uh, girls from rich families who are brought up well they have good character it doesn't matter who they meet yeah they 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 just respect people they love people mm. full stop yeah so and 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 this this thing is not ikitu is not nowadays limited to women by the way. Mm. We have seen even women sponsor men. Mm. For education. Anakuja na kupata wewe ni msao wa mkoko pale. Mm. Lakini ulipata nga B+. Na ukamkapendana akakupenda, akakupeleka kampu, ukipatana mm. bana juu alikuwa teacher. 
ukenda ku na kupeleka ukenda kusama lo kwa kutana na madam lawyer mm. <laughs> ukasema sasa mimi na walimu tutapeleka na wapi unaona sasa mm. so who was bad it is not the education it is you mm. Mm. the man ulikuwa na bad character yeah and you didn't tell this lady that you didn't love her you were only there because she was helping you mm. Mm. so it's it's not a women thing pekake naona hata wanaume pia wanapitia the same wakupia the same problem wanatesa wanawake hii tao yeah 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 najua najua hiyo fair species here yeah, wanaume yeah, pekake uh-huh. wanatuma hata mm. mademo wanatuma fair hii tao i mm. love jamaa nakula anapotea <laughs> I, I, I love I think maybe pia another thing ni hiyo find mtu mko compatible I think hiyo ni kitu watu wengi struggle nayo where you can have a conversation you can have arguments and still keep it respectful because you know you have an intelligent woman in the house you're going to argue you won't mm. agree on everything mm, mm. Uh, compatibility lakini kitu inachanganya watu sai even in terms of kutafuta kum, mtu wako compatible mm. are people really investing in dating yeah like let me say is it dating kuna kuangana dating na ile courtship yeah yeah dating ndio watu wanafanya sai mm. people are not into courtship mm. kukatia courtship ni ile sasa mm. una study mtu mm unajifunzana anakujua mbona let me tell you and i will be open yeah today young girls and boys vitu wanafanya ni sai oh twende malindi Oh we we'll go to Malindi it's good mm-hmm. to go to go is good to go but what are you going to do in Malindi to we don't have even time to see it talk <laughs> tembea tu na huyo mtu mpige tu story umjue <laughs> eh yeah, hata labda mtu apikipiki amkuja amguse hivi wana venye ata react mhm nyinyi muko kama sui si si sex mhm muko kwa beach mkitoka kwa beach umerudi kwa nyumba umeenda club mhm So you are not having time to bond. You are not bonding. Mm. You are actually enjoying. Yeah, yeah. So you are not bonding. You are not learning. You are not learning. Oh jamaa, eh, akifika mahali fulani, akifaki akiangalia hivi anakuwa amekasirika. Because you see in life kukasirishana na wife ni very easy. Yeah. Na inakuanganika kitu mtakasirishana hata juu ya maji hii tu peke yake. Maji. Mm, mm, mm. Labda ni ufanye hivi mwagika kwambie mbona unachafua meza? Kwambie ina way. Yeah, no, I know that. Mm. Alafu ilete ugomvi. Mm. But since anakujua na since unamjua. Mm. Ukiona hivi uona ni nini utamwambia? Unajua wewe ndio umekosa, si ndio? Yeah, yeah. So umekosa unamwambia pole. Unamwambia <laughs> unajua mm. hata jam jeki tunamwambia pole. Eh? And and you see I find people having to struggle with the word sorry. Mm. Let me tell you sorry is a five lettered word. Yeah. Sorry, but it saves marriages my friend. It can save marriages in the collapse mm. just the word sorry. Just acknowledging that your husband or your wife yeah ame jam mm. na wende wa makosa umejua tu wewe lakini wana tu wengine tunasema anga bana ni mimi ni mwanaume mhm at siwezi but you collapse your marriage who suffers your kids yeah because right now we have had a nini of hii kitu inatembeanga na sikianga nini baby daddy mhm yeah, baby daddy baby, baby, baby daddy mama. drama mm. baby mama baby mama drama so we baby have daddy an drama mhm you know many years people didn't have an option Mm. Once you are married you are married. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, an option ya walk out na ukue baby mama, baby daddy. Mm. Yeah. And what the devil does, I'm not a preacher. Mm, mm. The devil creates options and alternatives. Like for example, mm. when you sleep with another man's wife. Mm. Biblically it's what? To adultery, huh? Adultery. Mm. Very bad. Sounds bad. Mm. But nowadays tonight and Excuse me, see ku for it at all. Having an Bago affair. Kando. Having an affair. Yeah, having an We affair. We just yeah. had an affair. Mm. Yeah, it sounds smooth, yeah? Smooth, yeah? Mm. When you compare it na adultery. Mm. Yeah. You are an adult adulterer adulterer and adulterer. Oh, you didn't live for. Yeah. An adulterer. Cuz on the adulterer and for custodio. It's different. But but the devil has given us options that you know we you know what you can call it uh, having an affair. Yeah. It it sounds it's 
Nice. So, things that were bad in the society that were nini tumetafuta majina ya kupunguza ukali. Mm. That's why I'm saying things like baby mama. Mm. Baby daddy. You know, you used to be called divorcee. Mm. You are a divorcee. Hey, at we are divorce. Mm. So, hey, bad, right? Mm. Mad, we separated. Mm. Or it's just a baby mama. He's my baby mama. He's my nini. We baby mama wa mtu fulani. You see, so it's it's not bad to have. I, I think you know when because we we have seen tendencies of people being murdered in in their homes. Yeah. E, kama ni kubaya, mtu na okay tu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ni sawa. By the way, that's okay. Mm-hmm. But in situation where baka yani ni you know, let me tell you, most of the divorces and separations I've seen mm-hmm. is not as big as people think. Yeah. Kuna zile hata watu wenye wanakaa kwa ndoa ndio wanavumilia. Kuna wanakaa kwa ndoa wanapigwa lakini wamekata wapo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lakini wale wana walk out. Kuna wale bad situations but there are those they walk out to a very small. Walk out because mm-hmm. of kitu unge solve. Kitu mm-hmm. kama sorry. Mm. Mwanaume tu umesema hapana. Na wewe ndio ulikosa. Mm. Sema niambie mwanaume mwanamke sorry. Wapi? Mm. Babu yangu aliniambia hiyo ni ujinga. <laughs> <laughs> But what times were your babu living? Yeah, mm. those times si size. Women who had no mm. say mm. in the mm. society. Nowadays women have says. Yeah. Hata ukimwambia kitu anakwambia no that one will not work here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And it's her right to tell you that because you see we are living in a different society. Yeah, yeah, But you can still build a very strong family. Mm. Very strong family and have a, a strong marriage. Mm. Just best on principles. Yeah, yeah. You know this is what I tell people when you are getting married. Mm. The day you get married mm. is the day you break or make your marriage. Yeah. That day. Sikio kwanza. Kwa nini? Nyinyi mliingia tu mukaka na mukasonga mm. mm. you didn't have lay, re, you didn't lay rules yeah how is us to have rules we are animals mm. animals can we mono wana hata wa simba wanakwanga na rules kuna yule anakuwa king mm. kuna yule hiyo kwa nyumba inafaa mjue who is the head of the family first mm. Mm. it has to be clear by the way everyone mm. nowadays wants to be the head even the women mm. so and it's it depends on how you agree yeah but at the end of it All. you have to set rules mm. bibi aseme by the way mimi spendi mwanamume mwenye anafika kwa nyumba saa tano. yeah mukubaliane useme by the way tuma agree saa tano, niko kwa nyumba kama sijafika nitakupigia nikwambie why sijafika mm. eh it has ukianza because she might not tell you that inamuumiza mm. but maybe hata una una kwa zanga una nini lakini inamsumbua roho yeah na ataanza kusema maybe umpendi mm. you are opening a door mm. for me that's what i think yeah okay. don't open those doors mm. open us utaikosa kufungua hizo milango mm. but open kidogo yeah don't allow big ones and you start on that day okay okay rules na mwambia na anakuambia pia yeye nini hapendi nini wewe haupendi mm. even during courtship nini unapenda nini haupendi kuna vitu muta disagree hata mm. mki, mkiongea hivyo muta disagree unasema <laughs> ameguza yeah. mali yeah. yako <laughs> mm. then one most important part i tell people don't try to change a person yeah you will not make it mm. you will not that's why you need to during courtship learn a person mm. by the time you are going to marry you know who you are going to marry you know who you are going to shida fulani lakini mm. sawa tu hiyo nita manage yeah. lakini wewe hamjawahi mna kuanga tu either mkienda ma trips ni ni sex kuruka nini nini kwa panda balloon oh tuna enjoy he hey, he hey. by the time una wana hujui oh, mtu yeah, mm. anafanya kitu yenyewe haupendi mm. but you didn't tell her or she didn't know she doesn't know or you or or yeye anafanya kitu wewe unajaimwambia yeah, wanda... yeah. unaona so for me the courtship period and the time ile mnawana hiyo you need to to know the tell the person just open if you mm. really want that person to be your wife yeah and to be your husband for the unforeseeable future. unforeseeable future yes yes yeah. Yeah. tell that person be open to her mm. and let her be open to you okay some okay. of the things you don't like be open 
Mm. Just tell her you, you don't like uh, and mm. I've seen someone say it, I don't like a lady who drinks. Mm. But we are dating a lady who drinks. Yeah. Unasema ni kutukiwana atabadilika. Mm. Ah my friend. Yeah, hatabadilika. Mm. The same way the woman can't change the man because yeah. women mostly it come to change it's women who try to change men. Yes. And Dude, it's that impossible person will not change. Yeah. Kwanza wana women vicho ngumu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. say mm. what does we want we are ragu change. Mm. Yeah, ni rule. Mm. <laughs> but after many I'm change. Yes. Yeah, I just have to leave. I'm change. So mm. during that period, mm. during that period, mm. find a person to be the person who she is or he is. Yeah. And 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 that thing ya yeah, people trying to please others. Yeah. Ndio inaleta nga problem. Mm. The biggest. Wewe unajua let me tell you umeanza kukatia demo leo mm. unampeleka Stanley next date eh unampeleka Saro ah not yeah, Ole Sereni yeah next date GTC mm. next date umpeleka Nanyuki mm. next date Naivasha but kumbe ni hata unakopa ama unatumia mshanda yeah. yako yote mm. you see that unajenga kitu itakubomoa. Mm. You know why? The lady is not marrying the you. The lady is marrying the person you are showing that you are. Yeah, you are representative. Yes. Mm. Because you are showing that you can take her out that is what you love. This is blah blah blah. Kumbe kwa roho unaungua lakini kwa vile tu unamtaka. Yeah. My brother, she is marrying that person who is taking her out. <laughs> Ukifika kwa ndoa you are not taking her out. Mm. Mm. She's like she you changed. No the father didn't change. <laughs> This the, is me. The father didn't change. Now he has gone back to who he is. Default settings. And the biggest problem why we are having uh, breakups in marriages is during courtship people are pretending too much. People mm. are being who they are not. Yeah. By the time now you get to marriage now is when now, nowadays it's not like uh, old times when ladies will sit and say tutavumiliana. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Hata hata wanaume sikuizi zile time ati nimeoa. Mm. Atitaki watu wajue ati oh ni lifu. Mimi siezi ishi na mwanamke. Hapa mm. la kina vimbana tu anasema ah. <laughs> Wacha ikae. Let me go get the other. So, mm. so kama unaona mwa Afrika. Mm. Ukiangalia. Mimi naambia anga hata wewe ukiambia vijana. Nawaambia. Just be who you are. Mm. Did that lady you don't have money. Yeah. Mimi when I, when I when I started dating my wife I was living in Zimmerman. Yeah. Si kwanza kumpeleka at out juu nilikuwa nakula kwa vibanda huko Zima. Hai. Ama tukike nyumbani. Mm. Yeah, today I can take her to Mombasa Diani I can take her. Yeah. Because mm. now I can afford. Mm. And I want it. Mm. Lakini kuna zile time zile unajilazimisha ndio upate mtu. Yeah. Siku ile anakuja na ana realize you are not who you are. Ume, hii, ni kama ni ushaichukua ushaiona welding venye wanafanyanga. Chuma wakaingiza kwa moto inashika moto. Ndio mm-hmm. hiyo alafu kaje kile. Za kuchoma utaona. Na and ladies you know don't forget. Yeah. They are like kids. Mm-hmm. They walk kama watoto. They don't forget the promises and the issues you said you will do and whatever you said you will do they stick up mhm acha wewe labda ulikuwa unasema ju unamtaka tu ulikuwa unataka benefits box benefits benefits zikijaa ibana unaanza kukata pole pole unaanza ku budget unakata hiyo ndio budget itakuletea shida you would rather ulikuwa ngapa chini ulikuwa unacheza hapa chini then uanze kupanda wakati you are married uanze kupanda Mta uji yona wewe ulipeleka mpaka dem Maldives kumbe ulienda loan. Mm. Yenye unda utalipa for the next four years kama mmeoana ama five years. Ulipeleka dem Maldives. Mm. Na kakubali juu ulipeleka Maldives. <laughs> kama ulipeleka <laughs> Maldives <laughs> ikakubali. Mm. Alafu mm. umemwoa. Sasa na expect kama ulipeleka Maldives mara hii unampeleka Paris. There is no Paris. Yeah. Mm. Aje when she is in the marriage realizes there was no Paris. She was sold. Ukome mtanganya. So, she was sold what? A fake? A fake nini? Yeah. Fake promise. She was given a fake promise mm-hmm. again. And that. she's within her rights at that moment kukuacha. Mm-hmm. Cuz alipenda version yako ile si wewe. Ile si yes, yeah. kabisa. So, it yeah. makes sense. So nini um hii hii swali ya Raila tuku explore. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you go back to politics. I was asking you 
why do you think Kenya Kwanza are supporting Raila kwenda AU? People are giving various versions. You know me, I'm not a political analyst. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I talk to political analysts. Yeah. Uh, there are those who have various reasons. Mm. You know, they are looking at the, the, those who are saying that when you look at Ruto, what Ruto is looking at, mm. the strongest person, mm. not in terms of 2027, yeah. but a person who can challenge you mm. in many things successfully yeah. is Raila Ding. Mm. Remove him from the equation. Mm. Then you can do a lot of things. Mm. Because when definitely Raila is at the EU, mm. he will not be involved in politics. Yeah. Mm. So then it leaves Kalonzo Musyoka mm. as the main challenger, mm. the mother Karua. Mm. So people will, peop, the political analysts are saying, mm. are they on the same pedestal? Yeah. With Raila Odinga? No, you cannot. Mm. They are strong, but they are not as strong as Raila. Yeah, Odinga. yeah, yeah. So they are looking at probably that is what is pushing Kenya Kwanza to say, Let's mm. send this guy away. <laughs> mm, true, then true, let's, true. let's send this guy to Ethiopia. Mm, mm. <laughs> If he stays in Ethiopia, we can do whatever we want here. Yeah. Uh, that's one version. Mm. And another version. Yeah. You know, in politics, there are no enemies. Mm. It's only a clash of interests. Mm. Maybe the interests of Raila Odinga and the interests of William Ruto are aligning. Mm. For after a very long time yeah after a very long time more than 10 years mm. they are aligning probably yeah politics you know you can interpret it the way the way you look at it and it will be it will sound okay mm. Mm. so what i'm looking at is uh what what, what kenyans are thinking mm. when you read on x when you read on social media mm. you see kenyans a good number of kenyans are worried Mm. That if Raila Odinga leaves the show, yeah. he's the AU chairperson, mm. the AU commission chairperson, the AU commission chairperson. You know, there are two things. Yeah, okay. okay. There's the chairperson of AU, mm. which is usually president mm. of a country that has been given to run AU. Okay, okay. And the AU commission now, mm. who is like the CEO, mm. who is involved in the day-to-day -day running of the AU let's say because he has commissioners around, around. yeah, yeah. Mm. so if he's the chairman of a, like Musafaki mm. now who is the current a, AU chairperson mm. who nanda to tetea okay ruta kia mo kwa dictator mm. that is what some Kenyans and a good number of Kenyans yeah are saying in different quarters mm. Because Raila has been the voice. Yeah. That is when some people that some people say Raila serves us better when he's in the opposition than when he's in government. Mm. But I told people, how can you measure that when he has never been president? Mm. Mm. So you never know. Maybe he could be. He could have been the best president Kenya has ever had. Mm. I keep asking people, is Raila Odinga the president that Kenya never had? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So we are looking at we are looking at the developments mm. with a keen eye. Yeah. Uh, and also asking questions. Mm. Is it a genuine move by the Kenya Kwanza just to say Raila Odinga is a son of the soil? Yeah. When an opportunity comes for the son of the soil to, to, support. to get an upper or to get a seat at the high table mm. comes, can we support him? Yeah. Or is it a way of deleting him from our political scene mm. and say for the next four years yeah <laughs> we don't have to deal with you we don't have to deal with Raila <laughs> Odinga let's mm. deal with Kalonzo Msioka mm. yeah. let's okay. deal with Kalonzo Msioka mm. but 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 Kalonzo Msioka came out the other day and said that they are as Mio will still be strong without Raila Odinga mm. yeah that's okay. what he said the other day mm. The challenge with uh, Azmio, mm. it's not one party. Yeah. It needs a very strong person to hold it together. Mm. There is ODM that has listened to everything that Baba says. Yeah. ODM is Baba. ODM is Baba and Baba is ODM. Mm. 
Then there is Kalonzo's Wiper. There is Mother Karua's Na Kenya. There is Jubilee mm. of Uhuru Kenyatta. So looking at it, will Kalonzo be able to marshal and ensure the unity of Azimio going forward if Raila Odinga is uh, not there. elected yeah. and is not there? You see, mm. it's, um, it's something that when you have to look at it and say it's a tricky situation yeah. for and Azimio. If you are Kalonzo and you are a gambling man, what are you gambling on? Are you gambling on him losing and hoping he supports you for 2027? Because 2027 is running again. So you see now if he's AU, that's good for you. But if you are AU, how is it campaign? Yes, no. so it's against the rules of the AU. You see, mm. how is it campaign? Mm. But he can uh, influence. What Raila can do mm. is influence his members of parliament everything but without Raila's voice is also a different ball game altogether mm, mm. because now we have to push Uhuru Kenyatta now to be very close yeah to really want there's new camp to to win mm. then either one of the figures must be there because i don't see a big uniting fact yeah. uni- uniting figure mm. without Raila Odinga mm, and Uhuru mm. Kenyatta okay so you see you have to have a uniting figure, a figure that says, because these are different parties, it's not one party. Mm. If it's one party, it's easy. If it's just ODM, says Raila goes, who is the next in line? Mm. We give the next in line. But, but again, you'll, you'll see politics come up. We have seen parties disintegrate mm. just because the, the, the figure left the scene or died and everything like that. And then mm. war comes up. You remember the Oginga Odinga's yeah. death in yeah. 1994? And uh, Ford Kenya disintegrated because when Omala Kijana was elected uh, the chairman of Ford Kenya, mm. Raila Odinga mm. disputed yeah. and he left. Yeah. And he formed his own party, mm. if you remember. Mm. Uh, it was NDP. NDP. Time NDP. NDP. Yes, he uh, formed uh, NDP. Uh, Ford, 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 Kenya. Ford Kenya. You see, Ford, Ford, you, you, Ford the story of Ford, after multi party mm. after moe and kanu agreed to to repeal section 2 of the constitution and now we had um multi party mm. ford kenya was formed it was there as a movement but it became a party mm. the forum for restoration, restoration of democracy, of democracy. Mm. so it was there but it was now made a party mm. the the key figures there were Matiba, mm. Kenneth, Martin Shikuku, mm. uh, Oginga Odinga. Mm. I think they were the major ones. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Then, you remember Moi engineer. Moi is the one who engineered the split of Ford mm. Mm. after the Malt Party. Yeah. So there was a time Matiba went abroad. <laughs> mm. When he went to Europe for medication. Mm. Moi sent his blue-eyed, not blue-eyed boys, but he sent his boys yeah. to Matiba. Mm. So they went and started feeding Matiba propaganda too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 At the, uh, at the airport, mm. what we could have placards, our president, heroes welcome, Matiba, the heroes welcome, my mm. friend, mm. Matiba, when you're on Ivo, ah, Ganda Kavruga Ford, yeah, oh. and mm. Ford disintegrated just mm. like that. Matiba Kakua na Akenda na Ford Asili, mm. eh, Naneka back in a Ford Kenya, yeah, uh, Oginga Odinga, mm. Moya Lipita, because now. There was Ford Asili, there Ford, was Ford, Ford itself, there, mm. there was Ford DP. Kenya. Mm. So they were eating into each other. Mm. Sasa, ukiunganisha kura zao, boya angejindwa na landslide. Yeah, yeah. Lakini wame divide mm. in that moi akashinda na minority. <laughs> mm. Na minority, it was like a minority win. Mm. Yeah, because when you put together, it was less than less than fifty percent. I think it was forty or something mm. percent of the vote cast. 
when you put together hey, ni, ni, yu ni after moyo ame boost numbers zake na bado alikuwa 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 ame boost na watu wako wa special branch mm. and you can imagine how moyo ma you remember you remember sanduku ilikuwa inapotea yeah. at two gari ya ya, ya, ya ECK mm. and then it was called is electro commission of kenya mm. and then tulipotea na sanduku zinapotea so kumbe ni za strong candidate huko imeenda mm. mm. <laughs> so kura zako hakuna penalty zinapatikana you know what used to, nowadays we know why they they count votes in the polling Police station, station. Yeah. because kazi hapa haikuwa ng counting mm. ilikuwa ng vote waweke pamoja hiyo masanduku inapelekwa iko county constituency mm. head office mm. so between hapo hapo magari zinaenda zikipotea ma boxes zingine zinaingia kwa line mm. so yenye ilikuwa na genuine boxes inatoka kwa field inapotea ingine inaingia ndio inaleta box sasa that were conjured mm. altered boxes the numbers different na zile zimeenda hivyo unakuja mm. moyo amepita easily yeah mm. so walitoa unajua kenya by the has the electoral system of kenya has undergone several changes that people don't usually note yeah there was a time in this country when election were done through what we used to call mololongo system yeah mnapanga line i was in nursery school mm. I remember I went to field huko kwetu there's an uncle of mine alikuwa amevai. Alikuwa na line mrefu. Mrefu ya watu. Lakini wewe jali na naunzi alikuwa na watu watatu kwa line ya I am telling you. And I was young. Vita ile ilitoka pale. Sasa unajua watu tunapita chini ya waya wanatoka. And it was just close. Nikwambia shule ilikuwa tu jirani. Shop unapita kwa waya nyumbani. Vita ilitembea. Because how can you declare a person with three people on the line a shorter line mm. to be the winner while the guy with the longest line mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. that is how mulolongo system actually mulolongo system helped the guys who were under kanu yeah because after that people who lost in the mulolongo system waka kuja huko wakina matiba unajua matiba alikuwa kanu yeah, yeah, yeah. matiba alipoteza wakina matiba wakina nani walipoteza ngwa mulolongo system mm. waka toka kanu Mm. Yeah, wewe ndio una wewe hata umejua umeshinda bwa. Mm. Alafu jamaa waisikia na announce mtu mwingine. Mm. Mm. Hata kibaki akiwapata. Yeah. 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 Moka eh, kibaki walicheza wanga tu huko. Unajua mm. you know what more used to do? More used to play tough. Mm. Akiona umemea pembe. He goes and lift another person from your area. Akunyorosha. Yeah. You remember the story of Kibaki and there's a guy called Waruru Kanja. Mm. You know who is Waruru Kanja? Waruru Kanja is the father of uh, Ashira Waruru. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. He used to be okay. MP for yeah, I the name. Yes. There was a time he used to be alikuwa MP for mm. So wali, what Moi wanted Joki Baki was the king wa Nyeri, Nyeri politics. Mm. So Moi wanted Waruru Kanja to be the king of Nyeri politics. Mm. Ah lakini kikaumana kibaki na ni fight. <laughs> mm. mm. Yes. Yeah, so our politics has undergone people have died because of the constitution that we have yeah. today many people have died look if you remember then the the multi party which we call the second liberation mm. people mm. were arrested people were jailed kina raila had to leave kina miguna miguna had to run to yeah. exile mm. for us to have the constitution throughout your yote mpaka akati kanu ilitoka You remember no election no reforms. Mm. No, no reforms, Not, no, no reforms, ele- election. Yeah, yeah. That was 1997. Mm. Baka budget time. Eh well, nani this guy called uh, the, the current uh, prime cabinet secretary. Msali ya Mudavadi. Mm. Alisimama anataka kusoma katibu, akusoma budget. Ha, mm. ilishi hapo. Mm. Bunge ikaribika. He didn't read. Mm. Laribika. Eh, because people are saying no reforms no election mm. so mali tumefika we need to be even more vigilant yeah you know it's hard it's 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 very easy to lose what you have mm. than to get than what you don't gain what you lost yeah so this is what i tell people jealously guard the current document mm. and especially some of the crucial uh sections of the constitution mm, mm. when you talk about human rights when you talk about our democracy those are the things we must guard jealously because when they go yeah 
we will have to lose other people we will have to shed blood to regain it. yeah we watu walikufa but it down people died watu walikuwa wanachukuliwa kwa nyumba yao na wanapotea mm. people were shot at people were global <laughs> wale ndio wanasema ngati global yeah ama ni yeah eh, kizungu na jina pota hanga yeah pigwa rungu wao oh, maana video ya jamaa mwingine anapigwa pale parliament akipiga ndoro Eh nani anaitwa Jonjo? Njoya. Njoya. Yeah, Njoya. Yes. <laughs> And are you saying pasta? Si anakuwa hata hiyo sana kwa bio I think hata alikuwa amevaa, si ndio? Alikuwa anampiga na jana. Anampiga na kwa nayo. Mm. Yeah, people were shot in church. Hapa ndio, si St Andrew's inaitwa ngaje? Mm. E cathedral. All Saints. All Saints. Yeah, oh, okay. Yes. Maka wale kuna video niko na hali nyumba pamba na kwanga na niziwe kanga tu. Yeah yeah na chikige Kenyan historian. Yeah. Maka na maka sijui ni pastor man ya priest man na na uliza even in the church. Mm. This is the people sanctuary. Where do if you come and shoot them here where do you want them to run to? Mm. Yeah. So it was that bad. Some of us have just seen those things. Mm. We were not there. We only felt it when we were in the villages. Yeah. Oh, village, unajua da tukwa tunasemanga jina ya moyo. Mhm. Eh. saa kumi na mbili tu ile kipenga ile ya kutoa bendera. Mhm. Ipige naona tembea kwa barabara. Ni shida. Polisi walikuwa wanakupiga kama wewe ni kama wewe ni mwizi. Mhm. Wanakupiga. So we have come from far. Yeah. This is what I tell people. I'm a journalist. I can only report. But I am also uh, I also um, as a historian Mm. Okay, I'm not a historian by profession but yeah, <laughs> yeah. historian mm. by passion. Mm. <laughs> I love history. Mm. So mm. having seen what people went through, what our leaders went through, what what activists went through, former journalists went through, I will say it doesn't matter who becomes a president. Mm. But the respect of the constitution should be paramount. Yeah. And guarding the constitution should be everyone's responsibility. Hata mm. ugo ugo village mzee anataka kwenda against the constitution mwambie no. Mm. This we fought for. We fought for our rights. People say all oh, rights whatever whatever rights are very fundamental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today we have what we're doing here because of our rights. Yeah, najua. Yeah. This conversation you'd never have Go had it some, during Moi's time. Even go to some countries up. Rwanda, disclose. Uganda. Oh, mama yeah. go name. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Tanzania. You can't do this podcast. Yeah, even Tanzania like uh, eh, those. You can't. Yeah, kuna rapper flani wa Tanzania alikuja hapa. Alikuwa ni Kimbishi. Yes. Alikuwa sema like he was surprised and ona ati tunaongea juu ya rais na bado tuko tu. Anajua like <laughs> how, <laughs> how do you exist? Hapa how do you exist? Una jigwa my friend. Hapo mm. uko. Una bebwa. Sasa yeah. tungekuwa na mtu hapo kwa mlango. Mm. You know Orengo used to tell me James Orengo. You know me mimi one advantage I've had mm. being a journalist. Yeah. Is uh, I've interacted with these guys. The, the, the guys who are there during the makers of the nation. Yeah. When the nation was becoming what it is today. Mm. So Orengo alikuwa ananiambia there was a time alikuwa anaka kwa ofisi vya askari amekaa hapo. Mm. Tia tia umekaa baada kulinda hapana. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> He's not there for your safety. <coughs> He's there to ensure you don't do anything that goes against the government. Mm. So you see, those are the times were dangerous times. Ati unaenda nyumbani unaona tu gari inakufuata. Mm. Eh? So yeye atakwenda nyumbani gari ikikufuata ataona stress. Yeah. Hata uni hiyo time ukiona tu gari inakufuata, why upita kwako? Eh? <laughs> Pita kwa wao kwanza uone anaenda wapi? Uonekana atakufuata. Uonekana kama atakufuata. Eh. Piga round about hapo. Wende wewe upige uone alienda mm. wapi? Eh. Those were the times. Mm. Today people just go home. And listen where is it where I'm going? Yeah. Yeah. Like you you're not fearing about oh sujui I'm being targeted by nini nini. It's because of our constitution. Yeah. And if we were allow it to go like that. But me what shocks me my brother. Mm is uh, even though we have achieved our rights there's something that still man, makes me sad mm. is that people can die in this country yeah and it just goes like that mm. Mm. Huh? 
Like for example, Zandol just went like that. Yeah, yeah. That's disappeared like that. And I, that MP used to call Wamushai ule Mushai. Mm. Mm. Remember Mushai? Yeah, like a better yeah. MP. Well, George, George Mushai. Yeah, which yeah. Uhuru Highway? Ilikuwa bi? Hapa Kenya hapa. Hapa Junction. Hapa kwa Junction tu hapa na mahali kuna CCTV. Mm. Na jamaa kama Lima tu mabunduki, mm. marisasi, the guy died and at that day is the you, only time you, that you told to your CCTV ya kazi. What was his What was he doing that uh, made him a target? I don't know. Cuz Msando tunajua ni elections. Cuz people say that he was into many businesses. Mm. He was you know he was into land land yeah. selling things. Mm. Um court also remember comes the court up. Court things mm. came yeah. up. Um the court things I think those guys were making also I think they were making like I think they were also involved in something fishy because he said mm. he had a dozier. Yeah. Oh okay. Then you know the problem is mm. people started pointing at uh, Francis Atwoli. Mm. And I told people, you know what? Mm. During the time from from what, how I know things, yeah, right? Yeah. When you have a heated debate with someone, mm. exchange, that person is not likely to kill you mm. even if he wants. But the person you have beef, another person. Yeah, take advantage. To take advantage. Capitalizes mm. on the yeah. and pa you were gone that is why during that time the the the, the, the investigators had a whole list mm. a whole list of issues the, these guys was involved in yeah that could have endangered his life yeah the biggest was the land issue ni kama alicheza watu kama alikuwa anacheza watu i am not sure but mm. because you understand about yeah, kenya yeah mm. tulikuwa ni kama deals Land, land deals and you hear land deals in Kamulu zina kuanga na watu kuchorewa mm eh huko watu watachorewa anga sana so is a kwa deal gone sawa then i anasikia oh wanavurugana na atuli ai papa itaangalia nani yeah itaangalia atuli but before watu anze kufikiria ati oh kuleza kuwa sujui na nini na nini na nini ai case imelemeo and then now the problem is the investigations never even told the public what really happened mm. you saw the documentary nya alanam did you know that guy when i was at was at at ntv or citizen when he died mm. the, he did a documentary on uh, the guy who died in kibera there was a guy who was killed by police officers minor mm. the guy called minor mm. i went when i was still in local media went that time when the story was hot i went and talked to people Mm. You know you can you can ascertain if someone because the police were saying he's a thug. Yeah. You can ascertain a person if he's a thug by just the people where he lives. How na camera umeenda tu. People are likely to tell you oh jamaa eh tulikuwa tunamogopa. Yeah. Guys, no one knows him hata mtoto kuna mwenye alisema oh jamaa alikuwa mbaya. Jamaa alikuwa rafiki wa kila mtu man. But I think mm. police shot him mistakenly. Mm. Oh, unasikia nini identity mnaitangaje? Mistaken identity. Mm. identity. Mm. But now cover up. They had to come up with something to say. Mm. To justify. To justify. Mtu mm. mwenye amepata mpaka scholarship maju. Mm. Anasoma maju amekuja tu vacation. Yeah, Alikuwa amekuja yeah. tu vacation. Siku ile kulikuwa na game. He was shot akitoka game. Mm. Ye yeah, nakumbuka hiyo. Watch game. Mm. And the guy the investigation just went under. You mm. see? Yeah. That's yeah. what still angers me as a person. Yeah. Because I've seen so many murders and nothing conclusive imetokea. Yeah. Mm. And so many deaths. Because hata hiyo nini it's going to run cold very soon. Hiyo yeah, mbakasi Mm. Yaani mm. nitu imekipiwa live sana hii ya, ya Joey because mm. I think uh, our girl was involved yeah, so yeah, 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 there was a yeah. lot of attention. Mm. Yeah uh, Jackie Maribe. Mm. I think she she, she her, her being involved mm. it it gave it some oomph, some weight eh? mm. some weight she was, mm. yeah. yeah. But me I was Na we alikuwa alikuwa na kutaka hatu asipi. Did he used to come up citizen? Where? 
Nani? No, there was a lot of pressure kaka to home. Ah ah. Alipoja akasoma soma kidogo then. Mm. No I'm not saying the lady mm. like before all this drama happened Joel kona kujaga po citizen na mpita kwa get. Yeah, oh so kuja kumona kwa news. Kwa nini? Ah ah, siku ile wali propose. Wali engage. Eh, okay. Yeah, wali mm. engage. Sometimes sisi watu media tunajaribu kuweka vitu zetu huko kando. Maybe yeah, private. Sasa siku ile inatokeleza. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Nasema. But for me okay, um, I never know about character of someone but the Jackie Maribe is mm. a very nice guy. Yeah, okay. And Just love the wrong Jackie person. Jackie Maribe from K24. Mm. Baka city Jackie and that uh, Af- Radio Africa. Mm. We were not very tight but yeah. we were friends. Mm. Yeah. So najua lakini ujuange but I was happy when the court released her mm. because You see court of law is about evidence. Mm, mm. It's not about uh, emotions. Yeah. It's not about what you think, what what I think. Mm. It's about evidence. Yeah. That's why you know, you know I was told uh, by a friend of mine who works in prison that niambi unaona hapa more than 50% of the people here are very innocent. Mm. Very innocent. Yaani unajipata tu at the scene of crime. Now where's yeah, the yeah, yeah. But one thing I want to tell people Mm. I've never told people this thing. Your ID. Mm. ID. Very important. Mm. If you lose your ID, report. Now, the next thing you should do, walk into a police station. Mm. And say I have misplaced my ID. Write for me an OB. Even mm. if you not get an abstract. OB number. Mm. The fact that you wrote Now baba hiyo ob number. <laughs> mm, mm. But an abstract is important because it's bigger. Ob ni kakaratasi utakatiwa tu. Watakuandikia tu kakaratasi. But mm. an abstract is bigger and it's more legal. Yeah. Na iko na rubber stamp. Kwanza ile iko na rubber stamp na baba unatembea na. Mm. I'm telling you because of I know for case. I will not mention. There was a criminal case. Mm. A murder case. Yeah. A guy's ID was found. And I'm making two things that must be important. Yeah. A guy's ID was found mm. at the scene of murder. Jamaa mm. kaenda kashikwa ndani. ID yake ilipatikana hapa. So conclusively from the prosecution side and from the police side you are them you are involved. Yeah. Uliangusha. Yeah. So who, the burden of proof mm. shifts to you. When your ID. Mm. You have to prove that you are indeed not there that your ID got lost how will you prove abstract do an abstract him he didn't have an abstract kitu moja sasa ilimuokoa unaona kama wasoje wanakuanga kwa building wanakuambia leta ID unakataa mm ndio mbona ID eh hey, hey, si mimi nakujanga hapa mm. my friend how and wale msaidi mm because he was in busia that time the crime had happened in machakos Mm. That day of the crime he was in Busia. Mm. Na kiingia kwa building aliandikisha jina jina ID number. ID number na akasema ID aliandika hapo ID lost. Mm. <laughs> Jiwa alimuuliza ID na akasema ID lost lakini niko na ID number mm. ndio hii. Pa 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 kandika. Akarudi hapo the following day. Mm. Tena akaandika. Pa 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 pa. So the 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 murder happened at night. Mm. Wakasema huyu jamaa mm. hawezi kuwa ameandika hapa leo. Na akafika. Na akakuja tena asubuhi akaandika hapa leo. Mm. Na hii ni kitabu majina haiwezi kuwa ti imeandikwa leo. Unaona ni namba za yeah, watu ndio yeah. huko tena za watu so ile andikwa hiyo siku. Hatuwezi kuwa hawezi kuwa hivi fixiwa hapa. Mm. That is how the guy alitoka kwa <laughs> saa hizo angekuwa prison. Mm. So two things that people do. Number one, not reporting that you've lost your ID. Mm. Number two. Kudharau wale wa masoja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na jina kwa kitu kingine. Yeye amewekwa pale kwa mlango na amepewa kitabu na mwenye 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 building. Amesema mtu yote mwenye anaingia kwa building yenye si employee and dikisha jina. Aya, hiyo kitu ya kidole ya kampuni yenu wameweka pale wekange kidole ukiingia job. Wekangi. Mm. 
ID yangu imepatikana Mombasa. Wewe unasema ulikuwa job. Yeah. Kwa hiyo hakuna CCTV lakini kuna hiyo kitu au gangi kidole. How will you prove to people or we need that you are at work? Mm-hmm. Watu kusema tu ulikuwa job where 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 unaweza kuwa maybe wamesahau ndio wanakuananga kila siku. Yeah. The only proof ni your system. So people avoid some things just because they want to be yani kuna ah ni kitu inanisumbua sana yeah, yeah. sometimes hata mimi kwa sometimes naka kwa kitu kana kwa sababu ah bwana naandika sana lakini mm. naandika tu mm. but when i followed up on those two stories i realized huyo mm. mtu usimuonyeshe madharau andika tu hata ongelesha yeye kidogo yeah hata kukumbuka ah huyo alikuwa hapa hata andika hadi aje bro hata labda labda hiyo siku ukifika tu labda hata eh ulifika jibu liongea mm. ah watu wan, you know i've had statements oh ah watu wanatakanga wana chai sana but ni, chai eh mm. mostly mimi say what where this guys are mm. story huyo mtu tu mpige tu story msalamie mpige mm. story mjuane siku ile atakuona hivi hata kabla hata labda makarao wamekushika wanakuja na sema ah ni aje bro mm. nini nini ah nini siku ile uli kama <laughs> mm-hmm. Ana kama ulikuwa unapingana ulikuwa hapa ishaanza kujulikana you are there. Mm. Na utaepuka vitu madharau madharau ndogo ndogo tu. Mm. You you hepa. Umeona? Yeah. But hiyo kitu nilikuwa nataka kuambia ni kwamba the fact that crimes and death and murders just go like that. Yeah, in Kenya they go in Kenya. and investigated. And there is what we call forensic science. Mm. You know me was is anyone who did the uh, most people did medical science mm. medical let's say studies mm. is what you study in it of forensic medicine na kwanga for kuna wale wana specialize in it but everyone studies yeah 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 there's one thing in a medicine in a medicine yeah if you just have serious investigators mm. you'll always find Evidence. A madara wachanga kitu by mistake. Yeah, they make mistakes yes. They yes. make mistakes. Mm-hmm. It is that mistake that you look for. Mm. Kenyan police don't. You know why? Mhm. Napata anashika vitu hapo na mkono. Yeah, yeah, yeah najua gayo. Mhm. Cuz one mistake is kama wewe jamali gusa chini na hakuwa na gloves. Mm. That is a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Maybe waki struggle na huyo mtu kama anamnyonga, mm. ali huyo mtu alirarua tuka nyuzi kakaanguka chini. Yeah that is enough because your uzi ilitoka kwa ngozi ya mtu mm. ngozi ya mtu iko na dna yeah we just stress that you can but also now where it comes we don't have a system to run those mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 we don't but have yeah. possible those yes yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but at least the scenarios you look at and you say sasa hao wanafanya nini mm. This is one this one what is doing hakuna kitu anafanya unaambia tu watu ah hapa huyu kama ni evidence asharibu because mm-hmm. amada scene let me tell you this this one of our lecturers told me now alikuwa ametrainia banga ngambo mm-hmm. ni mtu amekambaka na M- FBI mm-hmm. he used to say in the american system mm-hmm. there is a mistake a madara alifanya mm-hmm. inaweza kosa kugunduliwa leo Mm. but inaweza gunduliwa 3 years from now yeah kapatikana tuka ulisahau tu hapo nisemeni na kanywele kako kale yeah kadogo tu hivi yeah eh ama mle struggle tu na msee akakuchuna kangozi kako kakaanguka kabaki yeah so you check they normally check fingernails eh kakabaki pale so but you find now jamaa anashika hata mtu na mkono tu yeah 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 Kenya ina kwa give and then watu wana ribing number 1 ni eyewitnesses wana itanga first responders no, first yeah. responders all responders ni sisi mm. ni sisi mara ya uliona mm. hey ukaenda ukashika shika <laughs> mm. so mm. kenyans don't know many things and even the worst kwanza is not just murder accidents mm. mm-hmm. they kill many people and actually moving them by yes, moving them mtu amekuwa amestuck kwa chuma mm. unamvuta kama ni mgongo hapa unajua inaharibu sasa the spine. spinal cord yeah anashinda sasa hata kutembea mm. kabisa i think one day you guys should just organize mm-hmm. ninyi watu wa podcast ninyi ndio mm-hmm. mnaweza fanya hivi tu rahisi sana bring just a panel and talk on what did you do mm. in case 
of an, an accident. accident. You're not mm. a trained medic. What mm. should you do? What are the things you need to do? Mm. Oh, there are places where kama mtu amekwama you need to bring a hacksaw. Yeah. Aende na hiyo chuma. Aende na hiyo mabati. Iende tolewe huko. Mm. Kini wewe unangangana mm. kutoa mabati. Eh hey, wanavuta watu yeah. like unapata mtu ameshika mkono na vutwa eh kama chuma unless shaki. there is fuel leaking and yeah, you yeah, think yeah. there is going to be an explosion leave that person there mm. till because mm. you know, even the, you? Mm. go and check most accidents na upate report ya post mortem mm. they aita kwa maandiko he died out of accident mm. uh, accident did not cause death yeah It is the aftermath of the accident. Mm. For example, kama kitu ile kudunga ile kudunga tuseme kichwa. Yeah. And it's not even kukudunga kichwa or damage to your head that kills you. Yeah. So utapata maybe huyu jamani kuja kavuta hiyo kitu alafu aka bleed. It's the bleeding that killed that mm. person. Mm. But hiyo chuma ingebaki hapo. Ange bleed. Ange yes. Kufa. Ange yes. bleed to death. Mm. So ingeenda ya seteniwe waangalie had the extent can it be pulled out or will that person leave who just get put on aishi na risasi yeah mm-hmm. yeah what is now to is now like we went down ngana di chuma imekatalia hapa so those are the things many people haven't understood when you reach because medic hayuko hapo mwenye amesimama toko barabara na ngoja accident ifanyike hapana it is the first people who witness that that will respond They are usually initially okay what about young at the first responders but to me yeah, I normally yeah, call yeah. the witnesses as the first responders mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. itakuja ini kitu inakuja anga kwa akili ni huyu mtu anaumia acha nimsaidie mm-hmm. awafanye vibaya kwa roho yao awafanye vibaya na hata nini but mm-hmm. they are not skilled so they will not assess that this kitu nikifanya hivi i'm actually endangering more this person yeah. than i'm helping so a lot of education on uh, people me have covered these stories and i normally see how people waliumizwa yeah huyu mtu kama ingekuwa to accident peke yake ingekuwa sawa getoka hapo tembe but now today he doesn't walk mm, spinal cord someone goes, tried to pull, to pull him, him out mm. unless kama ni moto kama si moto yeah, watch a guy uh-huh. watch a guy nili there was an accident that had happened on kiambu road mm. gari ni, nilikuwa kwa matatu gari yetu ikasimama pale nikashuka mm. niliambia matatu enda nikwa jali pambia enda i went guys were trying to pull we enjoy me go yo jama igari ilikuwa imegongwa hivi so imefinya yo jama hapa hivi so ni kama ilikuwa imeingia bila kambi watu don't touch that person kambi ayo medic ngoja medic yes analia in pain nikamwambia bro you are better off when nobody touches you unless he's a medic wacha tuita ambulance wakuje na watu wa medic wakuje waone mm. how they can remove you safely na tulika nilikaa hapo mpaka watu wakuja kamtoa mm. alipata ilikuwa imembonda miguu kindi daktari mwingine akasema hiyo itashoneka mm. tarudi tu haikuwa imebonza ziko zimebondeka sana mm, mm. yeah. so ungekuwa mtu mwingine ungempull na vunja sasa kabisa mm. na nge feel too much pain hiyo time pia na wanamuit wanampull so people needs to learn mm. that you you go there if it's not fire wacha huyo mtu mm. akae just pre, kama ni gari na roll wacha tu let the professionals do it kama mtu ame stuck unless the person is not stuck mm. kama hayuko stuck you can pull him but mm. pia the way you move him is important him is very important mm. because watu wengine wanaingia hapo na kubeba na kuweka kwa mabega yeah. <laughs> na na kuhangisha mm. <laughs> spinal <laughs> cord yeah. spinal mm. inaenda mm. They, 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 they are helping but they are not helping yeah they are doing more <laughs> they damage they are helping but they are not helping they are doing more damage to you than if they nini so actually the best thing is to protect the scene mm. we can hapale protect the scene assess kama mtu hajaumia sana yeah yeah pull them out mm. but wale umeumia sana piga simu wacha mm. wakuja wasaidiwe yeah alafu kitu kuna kuuliza nini there's a question mtu aliniuliza if we are to go back to history ya joy kidogo eh? Did anyone uh, who, Dominic the one who lost the ID has he ever been interviewed? Was only hear about him. 